In this lesson, students use a standard technique in biotechnology, agarose gel electrophoresis, to determine what type of food dye molecule or molecules gives each skittle its color. Students begin by viewing a few different phenomena and then recording their observations and questions in their student guide. Next, they'll learn about and then record the basics of agarose gel electrophoresis. After exploring how each food dye molecule has a specific mass, charge, and structure, they'll make some predictions about which food dye molecules may be on the outside of a green Skittle and another Skittle of their choosing. Next, they'll review the reagents and equipment necessary for the lab, then answer questions after watching a short point of view video. So we're skipping ahead. We're adding the liquid from the outside of the green Skittle into lane seven. And as you can see, we have now loaded all seven of our samples and we're putting our lid on top of the electrophoresis box. They'll also have the opportunity to do a simulation that approximates parts of what they just saw in the lab video. Next, they'll review some sample agarose gel electrophoresis results and use their findings to write a claim and then provide evidence and reasoning for the molecule or molecules they believe gives the green Skittle and the Skittle they chose in their predictions each of their colors. Please visit baybeck.org to find curricular resources for this lesson and to learn more about available lessons for your classroom.